getting safe period so as to prevent unwanted pregnancy is something a couple of persons still find difficult to do. So in today's episode, we're going to be looking at a method that is relatively free, completely stressless and absolutely simple to adopt. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're just tuning in, my name is Ada Adetunji. Kindly click on the subscribe button and also on the bell button so that you get notified as soon as the video draws. By the way, you're welcome to this family. Okay, so for today's episode, we're going to be looking at the calculator method of contraception. Let's get started, guys. <music> into the calculation process let us look at some key points to note point number one is you should know your cycle length your cycle length is the day's interval between the first day of your menstrual flow to the first day of your next menstrual flow so it varies for some ladies we have on the average 28 to 35 days if you still do not understand how to calculate your cycle length don't worry we're going into the practical very soon Point number two is your cycle length should be fairly regular. By fairly regular, we mean you should have studied it for a period of time, say six to 12 months, to be sure it's maintaining the same pattern of days. Okay, so if you're seeing it every 28 days, that means for a period of six to 12 months, it should maintain 28 days or have a slight variation of plus or minus two days because certain conditions can actually alter your cycle, say some drugs that you take, or temperature conditions okay point number three is it is believed that if your cycle length is fairly regular you're bound to ovulate on your mid cycle length so if your cycle length is 28 days on the 14th day you're bound to ovulate okay, okay. so point number four is if your cycle length is short say 21 days or long say once in every two months this calculator method is not going to be for you so having said this let us get right into the practicals guys so guys let's look at a very practical case using a lady named ify and we're going to use her menstrual fluids for january and february as displayed on the screen her start date for january was on a 7th while her start date for february was on a third now to calculate her cycle length the start days are actually what we need we need to count the number of days from january 7th to february third i've already counted it you can be seeing you're, you're already seeing d1 d2 d3 till we got to d28 so the number of days from 7th to february third is 28 so if his cycle length ideally is 28 days notes the duration of her flow has nothing to do in the calculation of cycle length now another important question is how will if he know if her cycle length is regular to know if her cycle length is regular she needs to study this process and she needs to keep doing this calculation till july that at least for six months okay she can actually do it till december if she's getting the same pattern of days say um, maybe 28 days or having some variation plus or minus two days some days could be 26 some 27 some 29 you will say that her cycle length is fairly regular now having said this let's move on straight to how to calculate save this i hope someone understood this better now moving on so guys to calculate safe days we're going to use if his last menstrual flow in february and we're also going to assume that her average cycle length is still 28 days and it is still fairly regular so it is believed that those with regular cycle lengths of 28 days usually would ovulate on the 14th day so counting 14 days from february 3rd which is her start day if we count 14 days from february 3rd being day one fourth being day two all the way down you will see that 14th falls on february 16th so february 16th is assumed to be the peak 
of her ovulation day so three days to her ovulation day which is 16 and three days away from her ovulation day are assumed to be the most fertile period so these days are to be avoided if you're trying to, to prevent being pregnant so day 13 so 13th 14th 15th 16th 17th 18th 19th highlighted in green are the most fertile days to avoid now for people who want to go down like the real nakamoras from the bleeding day from the start day which is the third all through the yellow colors and even till you see your next period those are your safe periods those are your safe days so you can knock all you want any style you want however if you notice on the screen you see that february 12th still has a question mark underneath this is because for me i will trade with caution spam always will survive up to five days so if you do anyhow on the 12th there is still a slim chance that you could get pregnant if you do they do on february 12th counting five days from february 12th will still take you down those fatal periods especially around 14 so myself i would like to avoid knocking on february 12th hope i've been able to explain this okay so hope someone learned something today if you learned something today and you're yet to give a thumbs up to this video you're on a long thing please like the video already and share to as much people as possible and also remember to click on the subscribe button and also on the bell button if you are yet to do so to my all-time favorite viewers thank you so much guys for believing in me thank you for always supporting me until the next episode drops guys i still remain with you and that and that's